congregating around the argument that was offered by Trump's uh, able As lawyer, the stomach uh, turns. basically <laughs> making the point that, um, well, Trump might be disqualified from holding office, but he's not disqualified from running for office. And if he were removed from the ballot in Colorado, as the Colorado Supreme Court found he should be, Congress might act in the meantime to exercise our two-thirds Tune in tomorrow at the stomach to turn. remove the disability from Donald Trump. I'm Paula Reed in Washington. Time to step away. I'll be back. Wolf isn't the only oh, one yeah, full of puke. You know what the hell I'm doing? I've been president. I put this country back on its feet. Huh? My memory is fine. Huh? Initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. Say what? Okay, Mexico is not Egypt. And Egypt is not Mexico. But we're all supposed to watch this and blame the special counsel for telling us what the press refused to report on for the last three plus years? Now, it's not like these verbal wanderings and confused recollections are anything new here. On the angle, we've been reporting on this for years, like back in 2022, when he tried to do a shout out to a congresswoman, Jackie Walorski, despite the fact that the Indiana Republican had died in a car accident a month earlier. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this a reality. And how did CNN report on this at the time with the headline, Biden's gaffe plays right into Republicans' hands? So the focus is on the mean Republicans pouncing, not on what the comments said about the president's mental acuity. But CNN didn't care. It was playing defensive tackle for the man who saved the world from Trump. Now, last night, after the report dropped and the comms team had not had the chance to give the press a clear narrative, well, that was one of the few times they actually st started to sound like they're real reporters. Thank you, everybody. We're going to need everybody to hold from. That was actually refreshing to hear and see. But by the morning, many in the media were back in enabling mode, back on the team, echoing the White House's defense. He's a partisan. He clerked for Chief Justice Rehnquist. Who led the fight against Rehnquist's confirmation? Senator Joe Biden. Oh, maybe he's biased. OK, he worked for Donald Trump. Who defeated Donald Trump, which got this guy to lose his job as a prosecutor in Maryland? But, but Joe Biden. Also, but this also, was a terrible choice by Merrick Garland. First of all, wondered why in the world he would put that in a report. What? Uh, his neurological assessment of Joe Biden. And secondly, why Merrick Garland would release uh, garbage like that in the Justice Department. What were you before. thinking? Man, come on, man. What I saw of that report last night, huh? I believe is, as a former prosecutor, um, the comments that were made by that prosecutor... Liar! Liar! Inaccurate and inappropriate. One big question for the coming weeks is whether any transcript or audio of the president's interview with the special counsel could be released. Yeah, sure. I mean, if they think special counsel Burr is unfairly portraying these exchanges, let's let's hear it. Let's see it. But all the enablers know how bad those tapes would be. And remember, her wrote that Biden's memory was significantly limited, both in the interviews with his office and with a ghostwriter for his book. And no fair-minded person on earth thinks it is a casual, no big deal memory lapse when Biden couldn't remember when his beloved son died or when his term as VP ended. And by the way, they weren't convinced by last night's lash out. How bad totally out of is your memory and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad I let you speak. <laughs> Mr. President, for months when you were asked about your age, you would respond with the words, watch me. Well, many American people have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is they, your judgment. Public that is not the judgment concerns. of the press. No one has bailed him out of more embarrassing jams than his own wife, who's really the main culprit here. Is there a part of you that is 
Worried about his age and health? Can he do it? Oh, shit! He can do it. And I see Joe every day. I see him out, you know, traveling around this country. I see his vigor. I see his energy. Remember, but she's really just a nurse on a power trip. If she's not leading him off a stage. Come on, Joey, hold my hand and mommy will get you an ice cream. Can I have chocolate chip? I like chocolate chip. Well, she's running interference for him with the press. She's always at the ready, even when hecklers get a little too close. A heckler tried to interrupt uh, Joe and you in New yeah. Hampshire, and you sprang into action. Oh, wow, he's a big that. guy. I know. Yes. I didn't, I didn't even know he was standing behind me. He was coming up behind yeah. Joe, uh, and I thought, oh my gosh, he's so aggressive. And I thought, I've got to do something right now. So I stood up and I just went, at, you know, right at him. That's oh right. Gosh. You got to protect those you love. Well, that's a nice sentiment. But this is way beyond that. This is enabling. Now, all of this long predated last night, and now more than ever, Americans and even the foreign press want to know who's really in charge at the White House. The headline of the Daily Telegraph today is, is Jill Biden secretly running America? With the U.S. president's cognitive abilities under increasing scrutiny, many believe his wife is the one steering the ship. Of course, the New York Times described Jill today in those benevolent terms, Jill as a protective force. Because no matter how many spokespersons they send out to trash the special counsel or attest to Biden's vim and vigor, we all know the big guy isn't making the big calls. And we all know what Joe Biden's enablers have done. The man can't remember when he left the vice presidency, for goodness sakes. Oh, sorry. He forgot. And we're not supposed to think that's messed up? By the time Biden leaves office, more Americans will wish that they could forget his entire presidency. No, 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 don't. Where's mom? Mom, is she here? Hunter, there's a beauty. At some time, <laughs> at some time, does he look at his son and say, you know, the son thing just isn't working out? <laughs> he said his son is the smartest person he's ever known. I don't know. He is the smartest man I know? Yeah. I am a smart dude. <laughs> He's the smartest person I've ever known. Who? Hunter. Smartest person. I mean, in for the pure intellectual capacity. It's true. Now, at some point, he's going to say, it's just not working out the way it's supposed to. Probably smoked more Parmesan cheese than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> He did? He's at the Air Force Academy. He actually fell down? You got to be careful about that, because you don't, you don't want that. Even if you have to tiptoe down a ramp, you got to some questions this morning about President Trump's health. And it's because of this video of the president where you see him walking very haltingly, one leg at a time, it, it starts happening here. It had no handrail. It was like an ice skating rink. I said, General, there's no way I can make it down that ramp without falling on my ass, General. I can't fall with the fake news watching. So I took these little steps. steps I ran down look at how he steps and look how I step look at how he steps and look how I step 
Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps. Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps. Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps. Comes around, comes around, assholes. Look, you know, we gotta we gotta just get this thing back on track. That, that's a that's a bad place to fall when you're making uh, I think it was the Air Force Academy, right? He's making that's not inspiring. Look at how he steps and look how I step. Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps. Look at how he steps and look how I step. Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps. I run up comes around, comes around, assholes. Call a call for the 25th Amendment to be invoked to get rid of the brain dead dipshit Joe Biden from office. Over in the House, Mary Miller, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Mike Collins are also calling for the 25th Amendment. Look at how he steps and look how I step. Watch how I run up ramps and he stump. Look at how he steps and look how I step. So bring on the 25th Amendment or impeach. Council also made claims that his memory is failing and Biden wasn't happy about it. Because they made a firm conclusion. I did not break the law. Yeah. Okay, so he mixed up the names of a couple of people. How big of a problem is this going forward in this election for Biden? I, I think it's significant, actually. It's Answer those questions quite clearly, as far as I can tell. I think mixed, if we mixed up Mexico and Egypt. Well, they are both brown, and to racists like Joe Biden, that means they are the same thing. Similar types of breakfast tacos, if you will. Joe Biden, I saw him. On Wednesday, I saw him last week. Look, he's going to make gaffes. We all make gaffes. The difference is he is always this level of scrutiny that whenever he makes a gaffe like this, it becomes national news. And who is this new girl who has come to town? What does she really want? What's in her suitcase? Is she really a Negro? Remember what we're saying here. It's not, we're not the, the most intelligent maybe in the world. <laughs> But we're telling you the truth. There's Something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. Some of you have commented, I wear since the day he died, every single day, the rosary he got from our lady of... Hold the service. How it's totally bad out. is your memory, and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. Your memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, president. Look, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. Huh? My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Okay, sweet, and do you fear that this report is only going to fuel further concerns about the race? Only by some of you. And that's Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. All but one man died there at Bitter Creek. He was in a sand, a but the world would never know. Brandon, Come on, Brandon. 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 